I need some scissors. Oh, okay. Oh, it's gonna be a really weird feeling. Don't breathe that in. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so, just my little earthworm. Why are you taking? Okay. So, first we have to identify some stuff. This, so there is two ends because there's a complete digestive system. So this is the anterior end, and this is, so this is the anterior, and this is the posterior end. The anterior is usually smaller than the posterior, and at the very front of the anterior end, there's a little hole, and that is the earthworm's mouth. And there's also a hole back here, which is where it poops out soil, basically. And <laughs> so this little, there's, you're gonna see like right here, this little like raised, pale, fleshy, like lump of skin. And that is the clitellum. And this little guy is probably like the most important thing, like externally for the worm. And it, that's because it, um, is its reproductive system. So this is how it makes babies. So when a sperm is um, injected into there, it forms a cocoon over this already pale lump. And when the babies are ready to hatch, it makes the cocoon slide off through the anterior end off of its mouth, and then it deposits, deposits it into the soil. And that's how it makes babies. <laughs> And also the other thing is that there's this kind of like darker line and that is the dorsal vessel and that it's, that's its main blood vessel. Yeah, so it's kind of like purpley and when you dissect it, um, you're not supposed to cut that, you're supposed to dissect it this way, the paler part and not the darker part because that's its right underneath that is its intestine so you won't be able to see it if you dissect it there so one side is this is the dorsal side the darker side of the earthworm and this is the part where you dissect it and if you feel it like there's a different texture like so on the on the lighter side it's a lot more rough and you can kind of like feel these hairs and those are, that's called CT. And basically those hairs help the earthworm move and kind of like creep forward into the soil. So that's, those little hairs are, that's what helps like make it move. And yeah, that's cool. So I think that's everything. Oh no, there's so, there's little pores. You can, you can barely see them. There's just little dots. And those are just pores that help it extract nutrients and stuff. And um, I think that's everything that's external so we can start dissecting. Yeah, that's, that's all. And the, that, the, the color change, you're supposed to dissect it from the lower side. Okay, so now, now we need to pin this down so that we can just poke myself. <laughs> so right through the mouth and right here. So most I okay, so I'm gonna cut this. Oh, I need another pin. It's gonna move around too much. But I don't want to mess up the intestine, which is so. 
Um, most of the like business is going to be on the anterior end. So most of the things that matter, like the heart, the quitellum, you can see like it's reproduction. So if you see, there's this little line that carries out through the body. That's the main dorsal vessel. So this is mostly just dirt because the intestine got opened. So the pale bit of tube, which I think is right here and here, that's the pharynx, and the pharynx then opens up into the esophagus, which should be where the cetellum was. Just kind of so tell them it's right here, so since this um, since worms have both male and female organs, um they, that means that if they are with another animal, another individual, they can make babies. So these little tiny things, that is the female reproductive system. But then up in here where it's bigger and kind of clumpier, that is the male's reproductive system. So the side parts, it's up here. Yep. So I need to cut up here more. So, that's the mouth, that little circle right there, on the very tip. The anterior end, and so it's hard to see, but this big lump of like, um, up here, this is, all these little lumps are the male reproductive system. So that's where its sperm is held and created. And then the little lumps on the side, so in here, like there, there should be like two others there. They're, they are usually paler. And there, that's the female reproductive system. So they hold sperm. So the pharynx is up here. And then this is the, the crop is split. This place, this little like bag of sac, it's basically, that's what it is. This, the harder part is the esophagus and the fleshier part is the crop. And that holds all of the nutrients. So it kind of acts as like a stomach, but it's not, it's not the main um, mechanical digestive part. And then throughout here, if 
you break up the intestine, you'll see like this kind of like stringy like ringed thing and that's that's the intestine and inside of the intestine they make after it's they already produced their food. And then there's the main vessel, it looks like. That got kind of torn up. It's right in there. This little part that's inside of the intestine, that's the main blood vessel. And then the heart. Yeah, the heart is the the ringed part right here. Okay, so this is this is the esophagus, this is the crop, and then this ringed part is the heart. That's its mouth. It's got a long intestine. Really long. The bigger the male reproductive system is called seminal vesicles and the female or no yeah the, the male reproductive system is seminal um, vesicles that's what they're called these like fleshy lobes and then the smaller ones the female ones those are seminal receptacles and that's what holds sperm for females and then the males produce sperm. <laughs> and this is my dissection project. Thank you for watching.